The video you're about to watch is not sponsored by Senate, but it's about Senate. How will you feel if you worked for 20, 30, 35 years in active service? It's time for you to go on retirement. You walk to your nearest Senate office to process your pension claims. Then you have been told that your employer did not pay your Senate contribution or some of your Senate contribution. How will you feel? I know you feel bad, right? Now that you and I are actively working, it is very, very important for us to keep track of our Senate contribution so that we can rectify any errors that come with it. So in this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how you can access your Senate statement right on your smartphone or your computer without walking to any Senate office. And I will show you how you can print them. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Digital Connect. The purpose of this channel is connected to the digital world to learn a new skill for yourself in your business. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access your SNE statement right on your smartphone or your computer and at the end of the day you can be able to print it or save it as a pdf for later use so um without wasting much of your time let's jump right into the tutorial so a pick if you are using the smartphone you can use any browser of your choice whether Google Chrome or Opera Mini to access the Senate website. So I'm using Google Chrome. So open Google Chrome and then type in senate.org.dh and then press the enter key. Great. So the senate we are on the senate website so on the senate website you can see some menus at the top we have home about senate and the rest so what you are interested in is to click on my statements my statement you can see it here so click on my statements then it, it will be redirected to where we can log in to our portal and check our senate number so here we have login and get access um, if you are already a registered user then you can log in with your details but since most of you watching the video this will be your first time you want to access your sending statement so let's click on the get access link mm -hmm. so here we want to register our details with sending so that we can access our sending statement here okay so here type in your social security number type in your social security number here social security number i have to blur it out because this is for somebody and then type in your email address you used to register with senate and then uh senate uh, senate asks you a random question here it is they are asking you for the name of your for the first name of your mother if these questions they're asking you here you do not know try and refresh the page and, and, and another question will come keep on refreshing until you are very sure of the one you know the answer to it okay so so here you can sign up okay you can sign up from here so you can sign up from here but but most of you when you sign up for the first time you are not going to get a success message because senate don't know you or senate don't recognize your email address so what you have to do is that you have to call the senate people Call them via this number. This is their contact number. Call them and tell them that you want to you want them to update your email address for you, or you want to access your Senate statement online on their website. So they should update your details for you. So they'll request your Senate number, your email address, and some information. Then when they take those informations, just wait for about 20 minutes and get back to their website, fill these informations. And click on the sign up button and you are going to get a success message like this good you are going to get a success message like which means your password have been sent to your email so let me check my mail good so you are going to get a password like this okay you are going to get a password like this that will be sent to your email address so this is the password you are going to use to log in. I'll, sh I'll show you in the latter part of the video how you can change this password to your own password. So copy this 
a password or code and then let's log on to your senate website so now we are redirected to the login uh, portal so enter your senate number here enter your senate make sure that there are no spaces else you'll get an error message i have to still blur this because this was somebody and then let's copy the password that was sent to our email address let's copy the password that was sent to our email address this is the password just copy it Control c to copy it and then paste it here at the password and then click on sign in click on the sign in button and then boom we have successfully logged into our portal and everything is fine okay you are successful log into your portal and everything is fine Send it to show you the number of contributions you've made you you can you, you can see that everything is is, is working we will be able to access our 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 senate details here your senate number is here your date of birth your staff id everything is here okay i have to blend most of this information out because this is because of privacy purpose so i have to blend most of the things out so, but you can see the contribution everything here you can see it here okay and uh, so if you want to print it out this is the button you click on it if you want to save this as a pdf for future use you just click on it like this and then it have downloaded it's downloading here i don't know if you people can see it it will download on on your system directly for you to download then you can have it have you can have it as a soft copy that you can print later on so we have successfully registered and logged into our senate membership portal to access our senate statement okay so so this is very cool you don't need to walk to any senate office um to do this you can sit at your home and then be doing this every month or regularly just to be checking keeping track of your contribution to make sure that if you see any problem or any omissions you can alert them so that they can rectify those things for you okay don't wait till you are 60 years before you assess your statement. Keep on doing it regularly because that is your future. So the next thing I want to show you is how to change your password, how to change the default password that is sent to you. This password, what is it? Okay. This password sent to you is a default password and you can't remember this password always. So you have to change it to a password you can remember. So that's what I'm going to show you so if you want to change your password just on top of the page you can see change password you just click on it then they'll ask you for your current password so copy this password copy the the the, the, the default password here paste it and then they, they ask for a new password so i want to uh, i'm going to enter my new password so retype the same password again mm -hmm. then submit you can see that our 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 account reset try login successful so our password have successful um reset or change so in this case you can log in with the any password of your choice okay you can log in with any password of your so, so thank you for watching the video i really appreciate your time um so this is how you can access your sending statements online so make sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumb up if you like the video and leave a comment on the description below in case you face any challenges i'll be very glad to assist you okay don't forget to press the bell icon to get not notified anytime i i make a videos like this so see you in my next video thank you